What's going on guys? This is Riggs from Clashing FFS bringing you a brand new video. It's been a while guys. It has been a while uh, since we have done a hashtag just saying series. Uh, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I do have a few things uh, that I'd like to say, especially with CWL right around the corner. I mean, next week starts next week, at least from when I'm making this video. Uh, we're going to be in season four. The clans have been announced for all the different leagues. The uh, schedules have just been released uh, this weekend, the weekend I'm making this video. Uh, schedules are, are all out. And um, I'm actually surprised. Myself, as, as well as many others, are very surprised by... And, and I don't even want to say... We have to understand that we know that the admins, that the leaders who make the decisions on who gets in the leagues, who doesn't, they're not always going to make everybody happy. Um, but when you have a clan, uh, the clan I'm talking about is Beast Mode. When you have a clan, for those of you that don't know, Beast Mode was not, I repeat, was not accepted into Season 4. Uh, a lot of you that might be new to the game, new to the channel, new to the war scene, might not have even heard of them, uh, mainly because back in Season 2, Week 3, uh, Beast Mode was banned. They were caught um, you know, for, for modding. They were removed from the League, again, back in Season 2. We have uh, Season 4 coming up, like I just said, right around the corner, and... Yet again, you know, they're not back in. They've waited. I mean, you have to understand. They've waited. They have been trying to get, you know, their redemption back. You know, win over the war community to show that they are fair play. They've waited over a season, well over a season and a half to get in. That's a long time to wait, especially for a video game. And, they, you know, they're not accepted in. And... The reason is because of um, uncertainty is, is, is the word that uh, I guess the admins and the leaders used. Um, un uncertainty, that's the reason why Beast Mode didn't get, did not get accepted in. And you guys have to understand, no one can, no, I'm, one thing, a disclaimer, Beast Mode did not hit me up. Nobody hit me up to do this video. I am doing this on my own because I look at what's fair. I have no affiliation with Beast Mode. I, I mean, I don't even know if I... I mean, technically, I don't even have an affiliation with the CWL. I play in the CWL. Uh, I'm not even in the server, and I'll get into that in this video as well, because a lot of people, especially, yet again, with CWL, Season 4, right around the corner, a lot of people have been asking me, why am I not in the CWL server? So I'll get into that. Um, but yeah. I have zero affiliation with Beast Mode. I know not a single person that is in this clan, but the difference is I know what is right, and I know what I know what is wrong. And this decision to not allow them in, I think, is complete bullshit. And I don't think it's fair. You guys have to understand Beast Mode again. A season and a half, over a season and a half, trying to rebuild the reputation. They played in the German Midweek League. And they won. They won Season 2 in the German Midweek League. And for the finals, Supercell. Go look it up if you don't believe me. Supercell scanned the clans that made it into the finals. Supercell scanned them. And guess what? No bans. But CWO still says, hey, you know what? We're not letting you in. Uh, one thing I did want to say. Well, you guys know I got a lot of things to say. Uh, as far as WHF... And War Whales, uh, War Whales, they've gone about a season of no play, trying to rebuild the reputation, and they have. And just so you guys know, the reason why I'm not playing any attacks in the background is I'm waiting. The, the war ends in less than four minutes, so I'm hoping we can get you know some live attacks, and I'll show some replays depending how long this uh, video ends up. At any rate, you know, War Whales, they sat out uh, a season in a couple weeks in total. And, you know, they rebuilt their clan. They got a new uh, leadership team or they got, you know, they got a new leader involved, um, started recruiting, um, you know, fair play players, you know, started scanning these players and trying to make things right. If you're going to play in a fair play league, you got to be fair play. 
And Warwells had built a reputation in a season. And yes, Warwells is back in now in season four. WHF, they didn't even sit a season. They didn't sit a season at all. You know, I know, oh, it's, you know, because of PB and, you know, this and that. I don't know, but it all goes back to what I was saying in the beginning is you have to be fair with everybody. You cannot have special treatment just because, oh, because this is so-and-so, they can do this. You know, it's like the CWL is ruling by executive fiat. There's like, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of fascists, uh, you know, run, running the, the, the Champions War League. You have to be fair with everyone. It's the same thing uh, when you're at school or you would demand the same kind of treatment, the same thing at, uh, at your work, you would demand that you'd be treated fairly no matter who it is. It's not, oh, you can do this, oh, but you can't. Uh, that, that, that's not how it should work here either. Um, especially you have the world watching, at least the world as far as, um, you know, people who play this game, you know, this, you know, this international game with Twitter, with YouTube, uh, Discord, all the different shared di Discord servers people are in. People here, people see things. I mean, no one's retired. I mean, no one's stupid. I mean, people can see this and realize, wow, that doesn't seem very fair. You got WHF, you got Warble. Okay, they're back in. Uh, especially WHF, they didn't lose anything at all. Um, they just got, woo, boom, right. They got accepted right back in when they clearly had modders in their clan. Guess what? Just like Beast Mode, WHF had modders in their clan, just like how Beast Mode did, just like how Warwells did. But again, Warwells sat a season. They sat they sat out season three. And here you have um, Beast Mode who sat almost damn near two seasons, tried to rebuild their name, got new leaders involved. And, you know, they're still not accepted. It, to me, it's just, it doesn't make any sense at all. Um, and it's, it's just more the reason it makes me more happy as far as the reason why I left the server. And again, I know uh, people have been asking me, especially with CWO rapidly approaching. Um, GG to Forbidden, uh, getting a four-star victory with 46 seconds left, two attacks remaining. Um... A lot of people have asked, why did I leave the CWO server? And I never made a video about it. You know, I didn't make it public. I did. I mean, I told like, you know, some of my, you know, closer buddies, you know, within the game, you know, why I left. Um, but I never like made a video. I didn't do a rant. But after the, after this beast mode thing, you know, it just really, really pissed me off. And again, you know, people asking, I'll go ahead and share that with you guys. So I was the league recapper in you know for premiere you know, i'm sure a lot of you guys watching this channel you guys know that already i recap you know the entire league from week one all the way to what was it week 11 i think it was 11 yeah i think it was 11 weeks all the way through okay so i guess they they swagged two attacks okay we'll go ahead and show you guys some of these attacks though in the background sorry about that um so a lot of you guys watching this channel already know that, you know, I, I, I was a league recapper. One of the only, out of all of the leagues, there was like four leagues back then, I think I was the only one who actually made it all the way through, putting out a video every single week, recapping all the way through the playoffs and all the way through the finals. Um, I did that for about a season and a half. So I made, I was asked by a few other streamers, I, I've been new uh, into streaming, um, I was asked, hey, do you want to stream the finals? Remember, it's Forbidden and FYSB that made it to the premier finals. And I said, well, yeah, of course, that'd be great. I'm not very good at it, I'm shit at it, but yeah, I'd, I'd like to stream, you know, I'm brand new at it, but yeah, I'd, you know, I, it's something you know, I'd, I'd like to do for you guys. And... Um, you know, to help out the streamers, but more specifically for the clans. It's always about the clans, which is something that I think the CWL forgets. It's about the clan. When I say CWL, I'm talking about the admins. Um, it is about the clans, and that's who I wanted to do it for, for the fans and for the clans. Um, so what I did is I spent about three, maybe four hours making a hype video. Um, I'll link it down in the description in case you guys missed it. Um, but I made a hype video 
that was showing, you know, the attacks, you know, of FYSB, some of their best attacks, showing some of Forbidden's best attacks on their side, you know, made like a little compilation. And then at the end, um, I synced in, that to match the music, I synced in each streamer, the time, uh, you know, what their time slot was for each streamer all the way through. I think there was like nine or 10 of us that did a 24 hour stream. So I put up the video, you know, I made the video and I posted it in the CWL uh, Discord server in the, you know, in the chat, uh, the, the media, you know, the media channel, there you go, not chat, the media channel where we post all of our videos. So I throw it in there so people within the server, uh, you know, can watch it. And, you know, I quickly found out uh, that it was removed, so I went and checked and saw that the video was deleted. And I was told that I'm not, I, I was not allowed to hell. I was told that I was not allowed to. Oh great, here we go. So they're doing they're doing a, a war search right now. Um, I was told that I was un, that I was not allowed to show that. Um, let me get back on track here. I was told that I could not show it. That I could not show that uh, video in, in the server. And I said, well, what the hell, why not? And they said, oh, because uh, Scatoria and Shubaloo, you know, they're, they're streaming, um, you know, they're streaming that war. So, you know, you're, you, know you can't, um, you know, post it in there. So that really, really pissed me off. One thing that you guys know, or you should know by now, is that I am not about drama. I don't want to get involved in stupid bullshit um, I just want to play the game. I want to have fun. I want to make fun videos for all the subscribers, you know, and all of the viewers to enjoy. And for me, that's when it was no longer about the clans. When the CWL admins uh, made that decision and said, you cannot post this video, understand what the video was. It was a video about the clans, about FYSB and about Forbidden and it was about the fans getting the information out there. And as you guys know in the channel, we get a decent amount of views for being a small channel. We're doing pretty damn well for being a small, the, a small channel that we are. We get, you know, we get a decent amount of views. Um, and that's when I, that's when it finally dawned. I finally realized it that they're not about the clans. They're not. The 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 clans just feed them. The clans within the CWL, all it does is feed and fuel the power that the CWL admins want and that the CWL admins crave. Because if it was not about, if it didn't have anything to do with that, they would have allowed me to post that video, that hype video, for God's sakes, a hype video to hype up the finals. And we all know that the CWL does not have a very good track record with streaming finals, do they? No, they do not. I'm sure most of you guys know what I'm talking about uh, when I say that. So they don't have a very, very good track record. They don't give a shit about media. Every single season they talk about more and more how... Uh, we don't want to watch any dips. They want to talk about how they're going to get better with media. I have yet... I have yet to see um, that happen. And I highly doubt it's going to happen um, this season. We'll go ahead and watch a couple uh, 10v10s. Um, but yeah, so I just thought it was bullshit. You know, you spend all this time. I was the, literally, with the exception of Adam, who doesn't even try to get, you know, involved. With, at least he didn't back in season three. He was doing like under the table, like kind of like recaps um, that the CWL wasn't even supporting at that time uh, for invite. And then I was doing uh, premiere. Everyone else who started did not finish or they do like two videos then skip five weeks then throw out another video oh playoffs are here okay i'm gonna do you know a few more videos now um but the majority of the youtubers if any youtubers at all were doing the recap it, they did not last so and here we are in the finals and it was just a big slap across my face and um you know, to forbid them for FYSB that they would not support a stream because of some bullshit drama that happened two seasons ago with Scatoria and Shubaloo. Hey, at least they at least they they want to actually stream and show content 
for these clans and for all the viewers that these guys have trying to promote the league. Um, I said, you know what? I'm out of here. So I immediately left the server and I told them, do not ask me to do uh, to be the Premier League recapper because you already know what the answer is going to be. Um, but, you know, and then I hear this beast mode thing. You know, there's been, you know, talks about, you know, what's happened, you know, with some other clans, uh, with um, Black Bombs. You know, we, obviously I don't have all the details, but as far as, as far as the beast mode and what's happened with them, I just compare that to what happened with um, WHF and with War Whales and what's happened with them. You know, I believe that people can become better, you know, everyone you know not every everybody has a past everyone has something that they're not proud of um but it's something that you know you pay your dues you can still make it right you can still turn things around um and and you know come out on top of it you know but for this clan who's clearly be, you know have ma maintained a fair play status after being removed from the league um you know over a season and three quarters ago uh, for them not to be allowed in I think is the the, the biggest disappointment um, I mean the hype video that was pretty bad too uh, but uh, I, I mean for them not to be allowed in after what they have done um, you know within the German midweek league you know and and you know I, I stand um, you know with everyone who's you know trying to support beast mode to, for, for ha to have the CWL rethink the decision that they have made. Um, you know, I definitely, you know, support everybody, you know, who's, who's going to stand with Beast Mode. And even ask Beast Mode yourself. I have no affiliation with them. I don't need to have an affiliation with a clan to know right from wrong. And what the CWL admins did is wrong pertaining uh, to Beast Mode. And you know, I, I think it's I think it's bullshit. I think they have a lot of favoritism there. They have a lot of people over there who really are. It is insane how power hungry they are. It, it's insane. They forget number one that it's a game. That's the first thing they forget. The the second thing they forget, which is what I relate to, which what happened to me, is um, they forget that it's about the clans. This is all about the clans. It's not about the admins. Um, I'm sorry, that's that's not how it worked. Power of the people. We the people. Um, so, anyway, I, that's, kind of, that's kind of the rant video. Like I said, it's been a while since I've done a, a hashtag just saying video. Um, you know, I, I was going to do one, you know, after what happened with the finals. But I, but I said, you know what? Let bygones be bygones. I'm not going to, you know, not trying to throw anybody. You know, I'm just little old me. I'm not going to try to, you know throw the godly admins, you know, under the bus or anything. But, you know, I just wanted to leave it alone. Just, you know, let FYS be in Forbidden go at it. You know, they're going to have their fun. We still streamed it. But after, you know, taking the video down, um, I, I had it at that point. At that point, um, I said, I do not want any part of this as far as someone who's going to be representing the league. Um, you know, I'm certainly doing my recaps. You know, we're obviously in Premiere. Um, but I can say with certainty that n not only myself, but a lot of people are, are disappointed with a lot of the decisions that, um, this, you know, this league has decided to make. And, you know, I, 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 I think it's sad and especially, you know, speaking, you know, coming from me, being someone who's in media, who covered media for them, um, it's not it's not good it's not good you know how how they treat media people the lack of communication everybody's pointing fingers at everybody um it's just it's just not good I, I was definitely happy um to get out of there as far as covering the leagues you know i'll still be you know making the videos for you guys for the fans for the uh, you know for the subscribers um you know shout out to forbidden fysb uh, Forge from Steel, of course. You know we're in, we're in um, premiere in season four. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, I guess the takeaway message is you have to be fair. 
If you're what you're gonna do to this person, no, no matter what the outcome is, you have to do the same thing for everybody standing behind them. And showing favoritism, you're gonna get exposed. I mean, it's 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 not hard this day and age. Again, with social media, it's not hard. It's not like you can just sweep this under the rug. Um, everyone can see the clans that got accepted. Um, even though I don't even know anybody over there, I want to give a big um, I want to give a big shout out uh, to Beast Mode. Hang in there, stay strong. Hopefully, the decision can miraculously um, you know be overturned. You know, hopefully, you guys don't disband. I know you guys have. You know, from what I've heard, you know, you guys have been, uh, you know, fighting hard, you know, to, to try to get back in uh, to the league. And not, not only did they not get into invite, they didn't get into anything. They didn't get into anything at all. Um, but anyway, be fair, be nice to each other, um, you know, and I, I don't know. Of course, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully... None of you douchebags watching this are going to be freaking modding. We don't want any modding in Season 4. Keep it fair play. And CW Admins, remember, it's about the clans. It's not about you. And big shout out to everyone supporting this channel, all the subscribers. I love you all. If you guys liked the video, make sure you guys uh, leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Oh, and of course, questions, comments, or concerns down in the comment section below. As always, this is Riggs from Clashing FFS, and I'll see you in the very next video.